But when it comes to how trans and non-binary people fit into the current laws, the subject of marriage is still hotly contested, with some wanting to see the law go further. I'm speaking to trans activist and Lib Dem politician Helen Belcher. A lot of people might not be aware that there are huge hurdles that anybody who's trans has to go through in order to, to get married, or for people who are non-binary, that yeah. doesn't seem to have any pathway at all at the moment in law. Not if you aren't prepared to sacrifice a part of your identity to tick a box which doesn't really reflect you. Non-binary people are people who don't identify exclusively as male or female. But at the moment in UK law, you are either male or female because that's what's on somebody's birth certificate. So if somebody is non-binary, at the moment they have no way of getting that officially recognised. But marriage law demands that you identify as either male or female. So for a non-binary person, they have to fit into one of these male or female boxes. And that's profoundly uncomfortable. The number of times you need a birth certificate to prove your sex is very, very small. But one of them is marriage. And so when trans people emerge, suddenly, right. well, what happens? The UK's government's solution to that was to have what's called a gender recognition certificate. But the gender recognition that means that you have to live as your authentic gender for a minimum time of two years in order to get gender recognition. So in order to marry, people who identify as non-binary are compelled to pick either male or female. And a trans person must wait for two years to get a gender recognition certificate and then change their birth certificate in order to marry as the gender they identify as. There's loads of administrative hurdles and it would be so much easier if we just had marriage, recognise it as an expression of love and a commitment to each other, which has a legal basis. Trans people's existence is very much like constantly having to sort of bounce from one official yeah. snare into another one yeah. to try, just try and live your life as other people do. Yes. The debate rages on and whether the law will change further remains to be seen. Many view this issue as the next front line in the battle for marriage equality. I think there is a degree of complacency and apathy in the sense that people think, well, the battle's more or less won. Mm. We don't need to do anything else. The history shows you should never take anything for granted. 